Today, we're doing a Five Nights at Freddy's build challenge. But what my friend doesn't know is that I'll be pranking him with scare commands. All right, Pip, are you ready for this Five Nights at Freddy's build challenge? Oodley, I was born ready. All right, Pip, let's get building right now. I'm gonna beat you. Oh, no, you're not, Louie. Oh, and did you know that the winner of this build challenge gets $500? $500? I could buy so many seeds with that. Yep, I know you could. Now it's time for me to work on the floor plan of my pizzeria. So I'm going to do the main area, and I need to make sure this is a really big area so that I can fit all of the party tables inside of it. Wait, what are you building, Louie? Um, I'm building the pizzeria. What about you? It seems you're building something out of brown. What is that? Oh, Louie, I'm building the scariest thing in Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Freddy Fazbear himself. Freddy Fazbear himself? Oh, no, guys. Pip is really trying to build something good today. I hope my pizzeria is going to be good enough, but it definitely will be because I'm going to be using slash slash scare commands to absolutely troll him. And when I do, he's probably not going to want to keep building. He's going to destroy his base, I bet. Speaking of slash slash scare commands, I think once I'm done with this floor plan, I'm going to use my first command to scare him. This is going to be so funny. And there we go. I've already done all of the floor, but this is just for the main pizzeria area. There's also the front where the cameras are going to be. And I'm going to quickly just use some commands to do that really quickly. I hope Pip isn't looking because this is technically cheating. I'm going to build two hallways like this, and that's where the animatronics are going to come down. And the office is going to be right here in the middle. I'm going to do the ground out of kitchen tiles as well. There we go. All right, the feet of Freddy Fazbear are coming along really nice. Let me just work on his belt. I'm gonna put black blocks all over here. And now the feet of Freddy Fazbear are done. How's your build coming along, Louie? Um, you haven't built anything. It's going kind of okay. I've worked on the floor plan, but now it's time for me to start working on all of the things around, like the stage and stuff. But before I do that, I'm going to use my first slash slash scare command. I'm going to use this command right here. Execute it at pip, run, summon, and I'll spawn something called a changeling on his head. Watch this, guys. Let me see, does Freddy Fazbear have a tail? <gasps> Wait, oh, it's a cute little fox. I, I want to pet it. Let me go to survival mode and let me pet the fox. Wait, what? The, the fox? It's a spider? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Pip, uh, what's going on over there? Ah! What's happening? Get away! You're an ugly fox now! Um, you just keep running around, Pip, whilst I keep working on my pizzeria. I don't know what happened over there. It seems like a fox just spawned on your head. Louie, kill it! Nah, I'm okay. I'm gonna do my own thing. I'm gonna start building my pizzeria. How am I gonna build Freddy Fazbear now? Well, how about you figure that out once you kill that fox? Because you're not allowed back into survival mode until you kill it. That's part of my slash slash scare commands, guys. And Pip just died. <laughs> now, while Pip is fighting with that fox, I'm going to go ahead and build the walls of my pizzeria. They have to be really strong. And I'm going to make them out of these stone concrete looking blocks. This is the most accurate to what the pizzeria actually looks like from Five Nights at Freddy's. And I'm going to keep building this wall all the way around, and then I'll build the stage and some fun games on the inside. But now I'm only building the hallways and the main area. And this is because I'm going to add the rest of the rooms later. For now, I just want to get the office down and the main things that the game has, like all of the creepy hallways and all of the posters and all of the things that makes Five Nights at Freddy's such a scary game. I think I could also add some animation Electronics, but I don't know if I have them. Let me check. Freddy and... Wait, I think I do. I have a Freddy Fazbear model. This is awesome. I could use this for my next slash slash scare command. I'll morph into Freddy Fazbear and scare Pip. But before I do that, let's just quickly kill him and keep building these walls. I need to make sure I build them nice and high so this pizzeria looks amazing. Well, now that I've killed that ugly fox, it's time to work on Freddy's belly. And I think I'm going to make him really fat so that I can go inside of his belly. And I'm going to put two shades of brown on his stomach. And this will fortify his stomach so he has an iron stomach. All right, guys, I'm almost done with the walls. I've been building for quite a while, and it seems Pip is already getting quite far with that build. I need to scare him once again, and that'll slow him down. But 
But now, I just need to keep building this hallway. I'm almost done now. I need to go ahead and build the entire office on the inside here. And this is where I'll place some really cool things. Like, I'll place some TV screens and all that kind of crazy stuff. And I'll also put some cameras around this place to make it accurate to the game. For now, let's just keep building these walls up into the air. Once I'm done, I'm really going to scare Pip's socks off. It's going to be hilarious. Just you guys wait. And there we go. We've got some of the walls completed, but I need to finish off this final wall right here, and then I'll be able to start adding the stage on the inside. I want this pizzeria to also look quite run down, so that it's a lot scarier. Pip, did I forget to mention we need to make these bases as scary as possible? You need to make your Freddy Fazbear a lot scarier. He looks kind of cartoonish and uh, a little bit fat. Oh, just you wait, Louie. I know my Freddy Fazbear is going to be so scary. I really, really doubt that, do you know? I'm almost done with my walls on my pizzeria, and it seems like you're almost done with the stomach of your Freddy Fazbear. But this is really bad, guys. If Pip gets any further, they're already going to have a better base than me. So once I'm finished building this wall and the stage in the main room, I'm going to go ahead and troll him as Freddy Fazbear. I know that Pip is absolutely terrified of Freddy Fazbear. And that's why he's building him right now. Because it's the scariest thing he can think of. Yeah, you're right, Louis. I'm completely terrified of Freddy Fazbear. I remember that time where I disguised as Freddy Fazbear and uh, scared you. And you peed everywhere. It was absolutely hilarious. You told me you wouldn't tell everyone that, Louie. Oh, uh, well, too bad. I'm sorry, Pip. Everyone needs to know this. But anyways, as you can see, I've made a little area in the back here. And this is where the stage will go. I'll be using some of these stripped oak logs. And this is exactly what the stage is made out of in the real game of Five Nights at Freddy's. I'll also probably put some animatronics on here if I can. That would look super awesome. So let's try and do that. I'll just summon a Freddy Fazbear in the middle here. And there we go. We have a Freddy Fazbear right in the middle here. And I don't think he's gonna move. Oh, never mind. He's moving. And there we go. There is my stage. And that's where the animatronics will go. But now that I've completed that, Pip is really far along with that base. And it's time for me to use my second slash slash scare command. I'm going to morph into Freddy Fazbear. Well, what do you think, guys? Don't I look just so frightening? All right. Now it's time for me to sneak onto Pip's side. And I think I've got a really good idea. I'm going to use invisibility potions and milk so that I could disappear and appear right in front of his very eyes. Look at this. I'm invisible right now, but if I drink milk, I appear and I can jump scare him. So let's go ahead and splash myself of invisibility and get over there. All right, my Freddy Fazbear build is coming along really nicely. I'm just finishing up on the tail. Wait, Freddy Fazbear has a tail? I didn't know that, guys. And this tail will also work as the entrance to my base. Come on, let's just enter through Freddy Fazbear's butt. Wait, guys, I think I have a really good idea. When Pip leaves, I'm going to make my way inside of the base and I'm going to jump scare him once he tries to get back in. I just need to wait for him to leave again. But now I think it's time to work on Freddy Fazbear's head. All right, so while Pip is out there doing that, I'm going to sneak my way inside this build, and I'm going to drink this milk. And there we go. Now I'm visible once again. Now I just need to wait for Pip to come back inside. Let's just place these blocks back, and then jump scare him once he comes back in. All right, looking good, but wait... I think I forgot to add the door to my entrance. So let's just add that real quick. Let's just get a door. All right, guys, this is perfect. Once Pip breaks through, I'm going to make the scariest sound known to man. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Wait, how did this get back here? I swear I opened <laughs> Yeah, Freddy that's right. Fazbear. Run away! Run away and never come no. back! <laughs> <laughs> Run away! Yeah, that's right! Get out of here! All right, guys, that was perfect. My second slash slash scare command went really well. Pip has absolutely run for it! They are actually running for the hills right now. Oh, wait, they're looking at me. Um, you know what? I'm going to walk behind the leg over here, and I'm going to demorph back into myself. This way, Pip won't know it was me. Let's just get back to my base and pretend I'm building. Um, Louis. 
Billy, did you see Freddy Fazbear was at my base? Um, Freddy Fazbear? Pip, why are you all the way over there? I didn't see Freddy Fazbear. The only Freddy Fazbear I see is the uh, one you've built right here. Oh, Louie, you should have seen him. He was so big and scary. Uh, I don't know about that, Pip. I don't see any Freddy Fazbear around here, and there's nothing big or scary around here anyways. You promise you don't see anything? I promise. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Now that Pip is back to building, I've got to get right back to my build, too. So I'm going to add a wall right here. And this is where Pirate Cove is going to be, where Foxy lives. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little wall right back here, all the way down on this area here. And then I'll break this wall in like this. Now I've just got to build in the kitchen tile floors like this. This entire place has kitchen tiles all over the ground. This would be a really bad slipping hazard. What if it got wet? You'd just slip over. All right, but anyways, now that I've done that, it's time to build Pirate Cove. So I'm going to build it out of these orange blocks like this. And I have to add some cuts for Foxy to hide behind. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll get some of these red curtains and some of this red wool. And I'll just outline the outside like this. This is where Foxy is going to be hiding all the time. Let's just do the little red curtains around the side of Pirate Cove. And I think they do have purple stripes on them. So I'll just do that as well. There we go. That looks pretty good. Just comment down below if you think I got anything wrong, guys. I haven't played Five Nights at Freddy's in so long. But now I can put the curtains on on Pirate Cove like this, and whenever Foxy wants to come out, he can open them! And perfect! That looks amazing! This Pirate Cove is coming along awesomely! But now I think it's time to add in some of these party tables! So let's go ahead and get some of these oak tables, and also some purple chairs, because I'm pretty sure the tables inside of this place are really big, and that the chairs are all purple, and it kind of fits the theme of Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. So let's put some party chairs all around these tables like this, and there we go! We we have one at the ready, but I think I want to make it look a little bit nicer. So I'm going to get some birch tables as well. And I'm going to copy the kitchen tile idea on the floor. And as you can see, I've now added a table that has a kitchen tile design. Let's just do another table as well. So I'll put another chair going right here. And then I've got to build the table once again. This is going to be a really big table too. And they're going to have all sorts of parties here. I think I'll put some pizzas on this one. Or maybe I'll put some cake because I know that Chica from Five Nights at Freddy's likes pizza and cake. I don't know which one to place. Hmm. If you guys think Chica likes cake more, comment down below. But if you think that Chica likes pizza more, make sure to like the video. Hey, Louie, look at Freddy's face. Oh my gosh. What is that, Pip? That is kind of scary. It's beautiful and scary, isn't it? It's supposed to be scary. I really don't know about that, Pip. I'm looking at it and why is his teeth like that? He looks so ugly. Isn't Freddy Fazbear supposed to be ugly? Um, I mean, maybe in your eyes, but in my eyes, he's just an animatronic, so I'd build him a little cuter. I, mean, I would never make Freddy cuter. I need to make Freddy scarier. Much more scarier than your kitchen. Oh, it's not a kitchen. It's a whole pizzeria. Oh, once I'm done, you'll see. I just need to add a ton more tables. So maybe I should just use some admin commands to get them in a little faster. Let's do that. And here we go. I could go here and I could go all the way over here. And I can copy this table across many times. Let's just go into the middle like this. And let's copy this one over a few times. So let's go a few blocks over here and paste this one in. And then let's do the same on this side over here too. I need to make sure I have two sets of tables. This way, I have a ton of seating for all of the people who want to party. But now, I'm going to go ahead and get some pizzas. This is going to make my pizzeria look amazing. I'll put some pizzas right in front of some of these chairs. And just like that, this pizzeria is looking awesome. Awesome. I think some people are also going to want some cakes. So I'll get a cake and put it in the middle of some of the chairs. This way, whoever is in this pizzeria is going to be really enjoying the party. After all, this place is for birthdays. Louis said I needed to make this pretty scarier. A matter of fact, instead of blue wool, maybe I should use red wool and give Freddy some killer eyes. Now Freddy Fazbear is ten times scarier. All right. 
right, but now that I've got these chairs down and I've also got Pirate Cove, it's time for me to build the other rooms. I'm going to need a bathroom. I'm also going to need a kitchen and then a storage room at the back. So let's go ahead and do that. So the kitchen is always on the left of all of these chairs to the stage. So I'm going to cut a hole over here and make a big room for the kitchen. This one is never seen in the games, but I think I have a good idea on what it would look like. So let's put a wall in like this and get this kitchen made. I'm going to cut a big hole in the side like this. And let's get started on this kitchen. There is definitely going to have to be some kind of secretive door in there. Because since nobody has ever seen the kitchen, it would only make sense for it to be behind some iron doors. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go into my inventory and grab some iron doors. And also some pressure plates. I'll put the iron doors down and then the pressure plates inside so we can walk through. But now it's time to add some kitchen tiles to the ground. So let's do that. And boom, there we go. We now have all of our kitchen tiles down on the ground. And it's time to start working on what the kitchen would look like. I think I know what I'm going to build. I'm going to put a bunch of furnaces inside. This way, they can cook a ton of food. And I'm also going to need some countertops. And knowing Five Nights at Freddy's, they're most likely going to be either purple or brown. So I'll build both. I'll have one really purple countertop going across all the way over here, and then I'll have it come all the way back. I'm also going to get some ovens, because how are you going to make pizzas without one? And then let's also get a sink, so that people can wash their hands after they're done cooking. This looks awesome. This is going to be one of the most amazing kitchens ever known to man. There is one big counter there, and now I'm going to do an even bigger counter on this side, and this will store all of the food, like all the pizzas and everything like that. Let's just place these kitchen counters in the middle, and yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Now let's get some pizzas down. This is where all of the storage will be, and I'm also going to get some frying pans, because that's how you make a pizza sometimes. You can make them in frying pans, I'm pretty sure. There we go. There's my kitchen, but now that I think about it, this pizzeria is looking kind of bland, and I know for a fact that there's all these kind of weird red tiles on the walls, so I've got a good idea on what I'm going to do. I'm going to fly all the way back here, and hopefully Pip won't see me on this side. And I'm going to select this block over here, fly all the way to the other side. You'll see what I'm doing in a minute, but here we go. I'll do this, and then I'm going to replace some of this polished andesite with red concrete. Now, I've added all of those red tiles on the walls around. This looks amazing. It's starting to really look like the pizzeria now. But what am I missing? I have the kitchen, the main area, the stage, Pirate Cove, the cameras and the hallways. But now I need to build a bathroom. And I'll do that on the opposite side. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and build some more kitchen tiles on the ground like this. The bathroom doesn't have to be too big, but it has to be big enough that it can fit at least three people. So that means cubicles and all that kind of crazy stuff. So I think that'll be big enough. Now let's go ahead and get an iron door and place them on the sides. And once again, get some pressure plates that take you on the way in. Now what I'm going to do is build the outline of this bathroom room. So I'll build it around with this red like this and connect it up. And then I'll go around with this andesite. And this will be the wall for our main bathroom area. I'm going to put all sorts of cool stuff in there. And I'm going to make sure that my customers can at least enjoy at least pooping. All right, and there we go. Now we got the bathroom on the side here. I can start working on some cubicles. So I'll go ahead and do them now. I'll do one here. I'll do one here. And then I'll split them up and put toilets on the inside. Let's do that now while we're at it. Here we go. Let's put a toilet in this one. I'll put some toilets over here. And I'll put one in here. And then I'll also put a massive mirror on the inside. That anyone who's on the toilet can see what they look like. And it'll be pretty good. Now I just need to make these cubicles like this. And there we go. This is kind of looking good. I'm going to place some regular doors on these things so that you can get in and out whenever you need to. There we go. Let's put one here, and then we'll put one here, and then we'll put one here. Now we'll just block it off on the roof like this so no one can peek over the top. Just like that. Perfect. Now I'm also going to place some sinks in the back here so that people can wash their hands once they're done. Awesome. Now our pizzeria is really coming together. This is going to be a really creepy abandoned one. So I think to make it even scarier, 
I'll place some cobwebs around this place. Let's put them around on the roof. But first of all, we actually have to make a roof. So let's do that really quickly. I'm going to place the roof onto this pizzeria. And I think I'll make it out of purple blocks. Or maybe red. So I'll replace the roof with some blue concrete like this. And this will make it look pretty good, I'm pretty sure. I'll make sure to build it up so it looks a lot more like a real pizzeria. Let's just make sure we get the foundations of the roof built first. There we go. Let's also do Pirate Cove over here. And then we'll do the stage and also the bathrooms. And then once we're done with that, we can actually start on an entrance for this place. And bada bing, bada boom. We now have a blue roof on top of this pizzeria. But now there we go. We have our pizzeria looking pretty good. And I think I'll do my entrance over. I'll do it over here. Why not? This should be a really good entrance area. I'll make sure to make a nice little entrance hallway that takes you inside of the pizzeria. It's going to look awesome on the outside. And I need to make sure it has a really cool blue roof just so that it looks quite accurate to the real one. There we go. Let's do this. And then let's build the roof up like this. This is going to at least look pretty good. And I'm also going to add some games on the inside just so that Pip doesn't get bored inside. And also make sure to rate my base a very high number. Then I can win in this build challenge. There we go. I'm now going to add the door on like this. And beautiful. Now let's just finish off decking this out with kitchen tiles like this and add some tall doors to the front to let everyone know that this is the entrance to the pizzeria. I'm also going to go ahead and actually add a roof on the top now. This needs to look awesome. So let's do some blue concrete all the way around the roof, just like this. I'm going to speed it up by using admin commands. This should make it a little easier. Now that I think about it, talking about commands, I realize I haven't used slash slash scare recently. So I need to use it in a moment to scare Pip because that base just keeps getting better and better. Hey, Louie. How scary does my Freddy Fazbear look now? I just uh, added arms. I don't know, Pip. I think it looks pretty not scary. I mean, look at him. He looks really worried. He doesn't look very scary anymore. He looks like he's putting his hands up. I mean, uh, have I got a gun pointed at him? Louis, he, he is not worried. You added those on him. No. He's supposed to be scaring people. You know how, like, when some people go up to other people and be like, boom, that's what Freddy is doing to your base. Oh, I get it. So he's just, like, scaring my base. But my base isn't even a person. Uh, my base can't get scared, Pip. Well, like, no, he's going to scare all the customers. Uh, I don't think he's scaring any customers. I mean, at the end of the day, Pip, that's what they're coming to my pizzeria to see. Freddy Fazbear. Oh, Louis. Well, they can just go right across the street and see an even scarier Freddy Fazbear. I think they want to see a friendly one, and that's going to be the one inside my base, Pip. I'm sorry. Well, I bet those customers wouldn't even survive five nights in your pizzeria. Um, of course they wouldn't. It's Five Nights at Freddy's. They're supposed to be attacked by the animatronics. I mean, unless they get a really good security guard, they might be able to survive long enough. Oh, but maybe Louie is right. What can I add to make it even scarier? Slightly scarier. Hmm. <gasps> Wait, I know. I can add fingers. Fingers are pretty scary. Well, oh, guys, I think I've got a really good idea on what I can do to make this base look a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and add a big red sign saying Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria on it. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit those words on this sign, but I, it'll get the message across. I'll also outline it in glowstone as well so that it looks like a really crazy sign. I'm trying to make it look like how it would look like in the movie, and I don't know if this looks very good so far, but I'll keep trying. I'm going to outline the rest of this thing in glowstone and there is the sign. And you know what? I think I'll just put Louie on it because it's the Louie Pizzeria. So let me try and write the word Louie. L O I. Uh, I guess uh, I'll just have to put Louie. I guess that'll work. But now to make the outside of this thing look even more epic, I'm going to add some little pillars to the outside. This will make it look like it's really fancy and people are going to want to check it out, which means everyone's going to be coming to my pizzeria. It can't all look too scary, so I'll do that. And there we go. Now this is looking really good. I don't know what else I should add. Maybe I should add some little glowstone pillars around it as well, just so that it looks like it would attract the customers in. All right, that's looking better. Now I'm going to add a road out of gray concrete so that the customers know where the entrance is. I'll go ahead and build it all the way over here. And then I'll build it all the way to this area here. And then I'll have a little yellow line going all the way inside. 
so that the customers know where the entrance is. Perfect. This is really coming along nicely now. But let's get inside my pizzeria. I'm going to go ahead and add a games room. And I think I'm going to do it behind the stage. Uh, this isn't actually in the Five Nights at Freddy's games, but I might as well do it. I'm going to make sure it's a really big room as well, just so that I can fit all sorts of crazy stuff inside. There we go. Let's build a wall out of andesite like this. And then let's fill it in with the red concrete that's around it. This is going to be kind of like an arcade room. So let's do this really quickly. I'll build this wall up, and then I'll also fill in the roof too. Pip, what are you working on right now? It seems like your base is getting kind of, uh, scary. Scary? Yes. I just finished up the fingers of Freddy Fazbear, and I even made his face slightly scarier by putting fire in his teeth and even making one of his teeth red. Okay, I guess that is pretty scary, but you know what isn't scary, Pip? What isn't scary, Louis? Very, very short people, and that's what Freddy Fazbear is. Look how small his legs are. <laughs> what do you mean? He's like two, three times the size of Louis' pizzeria? No, 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 it's, it's Louis' pizzeria. I just couldn't fit the E on, okay? Oh my goodness. Well, Louis, I'm even thinking outside of the box. I added a brain to Freddy Fazbear connected to his eyes. Wait, did you say a brain? And why is it so small? Did you know people with small brains are not scary, Pip? Louis, what do you mean his brain is small? Look how big his brain is compared to us. Um, well, uh, not anymore, Pip. It's not even connected to his eyes anymore, so he can't see. Oh, Louis. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoy your blind Freddy Fazbear. Oh, guys, Pip's base is coming along really well. I think it's time for my next slash slash scare command. But anyways, guys, I think I've got an idea on what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a command to make this Freddy Fazbear look completely bad. I'm going to turn him red, and I'm going to add a really bad mustache on him. And then Pip is going to get really scared, thinking that he's a stranger. So let me put myself down here, and let's do slash slash scare. And boom! There we go. I made Pip's entire Freddy Fazbear red. I gave him a monocle, and I gave him a really crazy mustache. Pip is not going to be able to recognize Freddy Fazbear, and they're going to run away. Hey, Louie, how's your restaurant coming along? Wait, what? What happened to Freddy? Why is he red? And why is there a giant mustache? Oh, I don't know, Pip. I don't think that's Freddy Fazbear. I think that's his twin brother, uh, Schmetty Schmazbear. <gasps> Schmetty Schmazbear? Ah! Stranger danger! My mom said not to talk to strangers. Ah! Oh, okay, well, uh, bye, Pip! Guys, Pip is all the way over there, like, shivering in fear. Maybe I should, uh, unscare his face. I feel kind of bad. All right, slash slash unscare. And boom, there we go. I've unscared Pip's base. It's back to normal now. All right, Pip, you can come back now. Don't worry, Schmetty Schmazbear is gone. Freddy! I missed you, Freddy! All right, well, while Pip is working on this now, I'm going to go inside and actually work on my arcade games. I made that big room at the back. Let's do this! I'm going to fill this wall with andesite, and then I'm going to make a really cool party game. You're going to absolutely love it! Let's do that right now. I'm going to do a few games. I'll do one where it's maybe a target practice. I'm going to make a game in Minecraft just like Ski Ball! And that's the one where you have to throw it into the little hole in the middle to get more tickets. I used to hate that game as a kid, and I still hate it now. All right, so now that I've done my roof, let's go on the inside and start working on the arcade room. And this is going to have a different floor plan, I think. I'm going to use purple, and I'm going to use blue blocks. This is usually the color of what arcades usually look like. So let me go ahead and do that. I'll just do this repeating pattern over and over again. And eventually, I'll have the floor for my arcade. All right, here we go. We're almost there. I just need to place a few more purple blocks and a few more blue blocks and we'll be all good to go. And boom, there is the floor into my arcade. Now it's time to put my games in. So I'm going to put skee-ball over here and I'm building it up with white concrete like this. This is just so that I've got plenty of space to play the game. And now what I'm going to do is have it so you can throw a block over an ice track like this. And then I'm going to put some slime on the edge, just like this. And now I need some pistons that is going to activate the machine. So let me just quickly put some pistons down here. And I need to power every single one of these pistons. So let me put some redstone repeaters going into the back of these things. And I'm going to activate it by putting a tripwire hook. I'm going to need a tripwire and some string. Let's put it on both sides and connect it up like this. 
Now, the redstone signal is going to go around the back here. So I might have to make it cut into the kitchen a little bit. Let's do that. So let's make some space on this wall here. Let's add a little section here where the trip wire goes back. And then let's add some redstone that powers the machine. So let's get some regular redstone dust. Go all the way down here. And then power all of these pistons. Now let's just section off this area here so that no one knows that anything happened. And it looks absolutely normal from the outside. Now my skee-ball game should work slightly. If I throw a block on, the piston should launch upwards and I'll oh, hold all the blocks with it. Never mind. So now let's just fix this machine because I know it's broken. I just don't know why. And just so it doesn't break the redstone again, I'm going to get some obsidian and place this right here. This will not break the machine now. If I stand on this, it should launch up and then uh, back down. Why did it do that? It just pulled all the pistons up with it. What the heck? All right, never mind. Let's try this again. Let's have it pull it down and then launch it up and then pull it down. All right, perfect. That's working. Now, if I throw some redstone dust on it, it should launch it up. You have to throw it fast enough, though, which is the issue. So now if I throw a block, it should launch up into the sky. But it's not doing it for some reason. Come on, come on. And now if I throw some items onto this, it should launch it up into the sky. And now I can make the skee-ball game. So what I'm going to do is get some hoppers. I'm going to put one on the left, one on the right, and one all the way up here. And that's the one where you'll get the most tickets from. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Our skee-ball game is almost complete. I just need to fill in some gaps around here like this. All right, that should be a pretty good skee-ball game. I just need to make sure this is decorated and looks quite nice. I think that's the best I'm going to be able to make it. Now let's test it out. Let's throw his little ball and boom. Now it goes up and you get all the tickets. So let's get a chest and let's fill it up with snowballs. And these are what you're going to throw and get some tickets with. Perfect. That is an awesome game. But now what I'm going to do, the next game on the opposite side, or maybe on next to here, is going to be a target practice. And it's a very simple one. If you hit all of the targets, you get some tickets. So I'm going to put some targets on the wall like this, and then I'll put some redstone lamps next to them, and Pip can shoot them to gain some tickets. And if Pip shoots all of them, they'll get all the tickets. And I'm only going to give them five arrows because there's only five targets. So if they miss any, they miss out on some tickets. Let's put five arrows in this chest too with a bow. And there we go. Now Pip can play this crazy arcade game. But now I think I want to put a prize board on. I want to make it so that at the end, Pip can spend their tickets on some prizes. Let me make an area over here where I can have a ticket counter that you can cash your tickets in and get some prizes. So for here, I'll do some different prizes. I'll do a prize for one ticket like this. I'll do a prize for two tickets. I'll do a prize for five tickets. And I'll do a prize for 20 tickets. I think prize number one is self-explanatory. It's just going to be some dirt. Prize two is going to be... Let's see here. What could I give? Maybe an iron ingot. Like that. Prize three is going to be a diamond because the last prize is going to be insane, guys. The last prize is going to be a purified diamond block. And if you guys didn't know, you have to make a diamond block with diamond blocks. That's how you make it. And that's why it's so shiny. And they are really expensive and really rare. So Pip is going to really love it. Now I think I'm going to do one more challenge. And it's going to be Minecraft Spleef. Because I absolutely love that game. Let me just uh, fix that hole I made there. I'm going to make it all the way over here. It's going to be a really crazy challenge. I'm just going to build it out in the open. Just like this. And I'll build it all the way into the sky. Now all I have to do is just do a cylinder of snow. Just like this. And then I'll just go down and paste them in a few times. Just so I have a few layers of spleef. If Pip can beat me at spleef, then I think I'll give them a ton of tickets. Because I'm insane at that game. I'll put three layers. And then I'll put a ball pit at the bottom you can fall into. Since I don't have any ball pit blocks, I'll just place a bunch of random wool blocks. So let's do every single color of the rainbow. Red, yellow, pink, green, lime, purple, blue, and cyan. And as you can see, we now have a cool looking ball pit right there. Isn't that awesome? All right, and that is one of the final arcade games. I just need to make sure to put a ladder going all the way up to the top so that we can play this game. And then on this platform, I'm going to put a chest with a diamond shovel inside. This is so that we can actually play Spleef. Let me just go ahead and throw these shovels in here and perfect. This is going to be awesome, guys. This is going to be one of the most fun arcades I've ever seen. But there we go. 
this is looking good now. But finally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some extra details. And I'm going to make this office actually into an office. I am going to complete it with sliding doors as well. Let me get some obsidian because I'm going to make these doors work really crazy. Just let me make these doors really tall. And I'm going to make them work with the buttons as well. It's just a bit of complicated redstone is all. I'm going to use some really crazy Minecraft knowledge to make this work. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to make an office desk right here. I'm also going to get a chest and put a camera monitor inside. This is so that you can play Five Nights at Freddy's. Then I'm going to get some cameras and place them all around this base. So I'm going to put one right here. I'm going to put one in the main hall. I'm going to put one on the stage. One in the arcade. I, I won't put one in the kitchen because that's how the game is. I'll put one at Pirate Cove like this. And I'll put one right over here in the bathroom. Good stuff. Now let's just bind all of these cameras up to this monitor. And then we should be able to use it as a real camera monitor to play this game. Let's put one on this side too. Now if I go to any of these, I can switch through all of the cameras and see around the pizzeria. Just like in Five Nights at Freddy's. Now I just need to go ahead and build the doors in. This is what we'll open and close when we're protecting ourselves in this pizzeria. So let me just go ahead and get some glue. And I'll get something called a mechanical piston. This is going to be a bit difficult to build. Now I need something called a creative motor. And let's get these in. I'm going to need some of these piston extender poles. I'll place my gear shift like this. And then I'll place this mechanical piston right here. There's only six blocks until the door goes like this. So I'm going to fill this with three piston poles on the bottom like this. Now, if I turn on this gear shift, it should slowly move up like this and stop right there. Okay, perfect. That's exactly what we want to happen. Let's just go down and make this door move a lot faster like in the game. So to do that, we have to get behind this motor and turn up the speed. Now, if I press this lever, it should just shoot up really fast like that. But now to make it wireless, I'm going to get a redstone link right here and activate it wirelessly. I'm going to place the door buttons right here on the sides. And I'm going to place this one to listen in on the signal, just like this. And now when I press this button, it should launch up this piston. Now I just get some glue in my hand and I fill up this door. I'll do what Five Nights at Freddy's does and I'll add some glass. I'll also add some stone bricks so that it looks really cool. Let's go ahead and add these on. And then I'll add the glass on top and then I'll add the stone bricks breaks there. And if I don't want to die to an animatronic, I just press this button and the door comes up. This is just like in the real game. This is awesome. I'm also going to put a TV screen in this room so that the security guard can watch some shows. I'm also going to need a chair, so I'm going to go ahead and put a purple one right here. This is where the security guard can sit when doing their job. You can look left and right, open the door, close the door, and just like that. Now I just need to do the same thing on the other side. And this should be really easy. Let's just do it. I'm going to dig down a few blocks, place my motor, my gear shift, and then my mechanical piston. I need that, actually. Let me get that. Here we go. Let's put our piston in. Get our piston extender poles going down three blocks once again. One, two, three. And then I just need to mechanically activate this redstone link. So let's go ahead and add this onto the wall like this. And then set this one to receive a signal. Now, all I have to do is make this move faster. And then I have to go ahead and glue all of these blocks to the right place. Just like that. And now if I'm correct, I now have a camera monitor. And I have two doors that you can open and close. Just like in the real game. Boom, look, I can open and close the door and then I can open and close this one. Perfect. Okay, but now my security room is done. I think time is up. All right, Pip, come on, get out here. We're gonna play each other's builds and rate them one out of 10. All right, Louie, just finishing up Freddy's head and I'm done. All right, hop down here. So we've had 25 minutes to build the scariest Five Nights at Freddy's bases in Minecraft. And uh, how about you show me around yours? Louie, you should probably put Put yourself in survival mode. You might die, so I would put yourself in survival mode. All right. Well, let me do that really quick. Game mode survival, and I'm ready. Yep, and starting off, the outside of my base looks way scarier than Lucy's. Five Nights at Freddy's base. Oh, what is going on there? Well, listen, Pip. In your words, it's what's on the inside that counts, okay? So just show me around this Freddy build. I really want to see it. Oh, fine, Louie. Just come back through his tail. Pip, I don't remember Freddy Fazbear having a tail, but 
Okay, I'll climb it right now. Anybody can have a tail. I mean, I could have a tail, technically. I mean, don't humans still have tail bones? Well, yeah, but Louis, this is the hardest parkour you're ever going to do. I bet you're gonna die like 10, maybe 20 times. Oh, really? If you think that, I might as well send my spawn points. Let's give it a go. All right, here we go. Are you ready to witness me destroying this parkour? Yep, I'm ready to witness you dying so many times. All right, here we go. Parkour Pro activated. Boom, boom. Oh, no. I fell? What? And you fell. Okay, I'll okay, try again. Try it again, Louis. I'll try again. Boom. Boom. Oh, there's something wrong with that jump. That has to be. Nope, it's possible. Look, oh, it's possible. How is Pip doing this better than I am? This is crazy. Okay, boom. Boom. Okay, these jumps are really easy so far. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ow, ow. Okay, this lasers. I don't avoid remember the lasers. The lasers Louis. How am I supposed to avoid that laser? It's right in my face. Ow. Um, Pip, I really don't know about you, but this laser's absolutely everywhere. Do I have to jump through this? Just go through the lasers, Louie. Ow! That's really painful. <laughs> oh, whatever. Okay, let's keep moving now. And oh, This laser's up there. I'm gonna burn my head off going up there. Try to avoid the lasers, Louie. All right, here we go. Ugh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ow! Okay, I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm doing just fine. And there's a little lever down here that I can switch off those lasers with. Good <gasps> stuff! How did you find that lever? Oh, it was right in front of me. It was right there, Pip. It's so easy to see. You didn't even die. How did you do that? Well, it's because I'm a pro, and uh, your parkour was just too easy. Uh, I don't know about you, but that wasn't very scary. Oh, Louie, just you wait. We're only getting started. All right, well, let's see what you've got around here. What is down here? It seems like there's some ladders going into a room in Freddy's arm. Over here is the scariest arcade in the world. All right, and uh, Pip, I, I don't know how this is supposed to be a scary arcade. Uh, Look how scary it is. I mean, I think it's scary because the TV isn't even working. Is it scary because exactly. it's not even working? Exactly. Because when a TV is off, I get scared. I need to sleep with a TV on at night. That's kind of weird. But I mean, I was the same. I had to sleep with a light on all the time. I still do nowadays. All right, follow me. Let's go to the next part of your base. I think there's another ladder over here somewhere. What is this? Wait a second. It seems like there's some parkour here or, there or something. There's no parkour, Louis. I just misplaced some blocks. Oh, I see. Okay, well, I'll climb down here. And what is this? room. Oh, more popcorn? This is the scariest room, Louie. Be careful. You might get scared. Wait, do I have to parkour up to that chest up there? Yep. Um, let me show you something really, really scary, Pip. The amount of reach my Minecraft character has. Yeah! What? Thank you. Louis, I'll take those diamonds. Cheating. All right, fine. I'll do the parkour if it'll make you happy. Let's go. Here we go. Boom. Boom. These jumps are so easy. Are you sure you weren't just going easy on me this build challenge? Uh, yeah, Louie, just get down there. Come on. No, ah! no, I'm not gonna fall. I'm not uh... gonna fall. All right, Pip. I have to admit, this base was pretty good, but you're going to have to come and check out mine, and then at the end, we'll rate each other's bases out of 10. That sounds like a good idea, Louie, but I guess you earned these diamonds, so you might as well take them. Thank you. All right, follow me to my base, Pip. Woohoo! All right, Pip. So welcome to my base. This is Luik's uh, uh, Fast Bear Pizzeria. Um, that's kind of a, a lame name, Louie, but how do I get in this place? Well, just follow the road. The road takes you all the way to the entrance. And I'm going to let you look around first just to kind of enjoy the, uh, the scenery, you know. Just take it in. Wait, isn't this supposed to be scary, Louie? This looks like so much fun. Of course it's scary. Scary. Come over here and look at this. What is this? This is the Pirate Cove. And this is where Foxy lives. If you just follow me inside, Foxy? you'll see that there's a headstone saying uh, R.I.P. Pip. Because you're going to be dying in this base. I'm not going to die in this base, Louie. Where am I going to die at? An arcade? Um, I mean, you could. I mean, the arcade does have some pretty dangerous traps. You know, Louie, this place is disgusting. But you know what? I'm going to make it even more disgusting. I'm going to poop in the bathroom. Where's Wait, the bathroom? That's the kitchen. Oh, here. The bathroom's over there. Um, Yeah, you go and uh, take a poop or whatever you're going to do. And while Pip's at it, guys, I've got a really good idea. 
I'm gonna use a slash slash scare command to spawn Freddy Fazbear on his head! Alright, let me just go ahead and get some one-way glass. Maybe without Pip noticing, I could slide some one-way glass in there. Let's just give this a go. Boom, 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 boom! Oh my gosh, that was really close, guys. But what is Pip doing in there? Okay, guys, I've got a really good view of Pip now. I've made a big glass wall over here. And now I can do my command to slash slash scare him! I'm late to a big poop right now. Oh, this is so disgusting. So I'll use this command right here. And once I press it, it'll spawn Freddy Fazbear on his head. Wait, what is that? <gasps> Wait, Freddy Fazbear? What are you doing here? <laughs> Let me oh, out. No. Let oh, me no. Out. Um, yeah, there was nothing there, Pip. Um, what happened in there, by the way? Um, Luigi, you oh have my Freddy gosh! Fazbear? Freddy's coming! Run! Oh, wait, I don't think he can fit through this door. All right, that's good for you. He's stuck in the bathroom. He's taking a really, oh really gosh. big Freddy Faz poop. Yeah, you can have the rest of my poop. Take it, Freddy. You deserve it. All right, Pip. Well, oh. that was really funny. You got so scared. I, I told you my base was scary. Yeah, I about pooped my pants. Well, pooping. All right, but anyways, how about we do something really fun? Let's go to the arcade and see if you can win some tickets. Oh, Louie, I'm going to win all the tickets. All right, Pip. Well, if you can get this ski ball into the top hoop right there, I'll give you five tickets. Oh, my word. Five tickets? Absolutely, Pip. Let's see if you can hit that ski ball into that hoop. Go ahead. Give it a throw. Oh, this is about to be so easy, Louie. Just watch. What? No way. You are hitting all of them into the top. Are you a ski ball master? Yep, Louie. Oh, it seems you missed one of them, though, Pip. One of them's bouncing around like crazy. Come on. I just got to get a running start. And... Yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, you missed, Pip. Yeah. You missed again, Pip. Yeah. You're really, uh, yeah. you're really trying to get a lot of tickets now. Come on. Give me all the tickets. But it seems like you got five snowballs into the ski ball machine. So I guess you get those five tickets. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. There Come you on, go, I want more tickets. No, you can't win anymore. Five is the maximum for a single person. Oh, fine. I guess five is pretty good. All right, so you've got five tickets now. But now, do you want to earn a few more? Of course I do. All right, well, take a look at this. If you can hit every single one of these targets without missing a shot, I'll give you ten tickets. Ten tickets? Oh, well, Louie, lucky for me, I'm a pro archer. All right. I can even shoot from all the way back here. Just watch. All right, let's see what happens. Can you hit it? Wait, what? You're actually pretty good. Okay, that's one. Um, Pip, you missed one. Hold on, hold on. Let me just, let me just, uh, let me just, uh, Ooh. and... Um, Pip, I don't know about you, but... What? You cheated! You know what? Whatever. I'll let you, I'll let it slide. And shoot this, and... All right, there's Bullseye. a second one. Go ahead, once again. Three. You just have to hit two more, Pip. Come on. Uh, you missed, Pip. You, you missed. How did you no, miss no, that I one? No, I hit it. It I was right it. there. Look. No, look, the arrow look. missed. You see? Look, it missed. No, no, see, there's a tiny bit that's in the target, so technically that counts. Oh, fine. Okay, listen. I'll give you ten tickets. Here you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. You happy Yay! now? But look at this, Pip. You could technically buy some things at the end of this build if you really want to. But if you want this really cool shiny diamond block, you're going to have to beat me at this game of Spleef for your remaining five tickets. I'm a pro at Spleef, Louis. Let's do it. All right, follow me up. Let's go. All right, Pip. So grab your diamond shovel and get to the other end of this snow. You go on that side and I'll go on this side. All right. Are you ready to get absolutely destroyed at Spleef? Oh, Louie, I should be asking you that question. Arr, well, you're gonna lose. Here we go. Three, two, one, spleef. <laughs> you're not getting past me. You're not getting past me. I'm gonna win. Uh, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna knock no, you off. I'm gonna not. knock you off the edge. <laughs> Come on. I have to get really close. I have to get just... Oh, my gosh, Pip. You almost had me there. I can get you, though. Yeah. Oh, no. my gosh. Okay. You're actually really good at spleef. You're actually really good at spleef. Okay. Arr, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, I think we just sectioned each other off. But not if I jump over and... Wait, we had the same idea. <laughs> All right, let's try again. <laughs> Come on! Come on! Yes! All right, no. you're on the second layer now. Come on, down here, Louie. Come I'm down, down here, down. Louis. Take these snowballs. I'm running. Oh, no. I fell. Sneak attack. Got you. Sneak attack. Sneak attack. Sneak attack. No! Oh, <laughs> you're down there now. Oh, no, you Looks don't. Like I'm winning. 
Oh, no, you don't. I'm gonna knock you off. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Come back here, Pip. Ah! Oh, 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 my oh, God. No, how are you no. doing this? You're insane. This man is a parkour legend. How is he doing this? Oh, come on, Pip. Just let me get you. Just let me get you. Just let me get you. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah. Uh, ass. Come here. Uh, yeah. oh, come on. How are you doing this? You're insane. Oh, come on, Pip. Just jump. Just jump. Jump for it, jump for it, jump for it. How about you jump? Jump! <laughs> no! Oh, just take these snowballs. I'm getting tired of you. All right, here we go, here we go. I can make you jump. I can make you have to jump for it. I want that diamond block. I'm making you jump for it. I'm making you jump for it. Come on, go on, no. yes. yes! Okay, come on, come on, come on. You're not getting me this time. You're not winning. You're not winning. You're not winning. You this time, Whoever baby. falls into that ball pit loses, okay? So I hope you're ready to lose. You're not taking my tickets, Louie. I'm taking all your tickets. Get ready to lose. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. All right, sneak attack, sneak attack, sneak attack, sneak attack, sneak attack. Come on, come on. No, I fell. Let's go. Okay, well, Pip, I guess you deserve to have those tickets. Follow me back to the arcade. Let's go. This deserves a chicken dance. Stop doing a chicken dance. You're going to have to really do a chicken dance later on, I, I'm going to say. I'm just saying, Pip, you're going to be acting like a chicken uh, later on in my build. <laughs> All right, anyways, cash in your tickets, and I'll give you this diamond block. All right, Lee, I'll take one diamond block. All right, pass me those tickets. All right, let me just count them up. One, two, three, four, five, uh-huh, 20. All right. Seems about right. Here's your purified block of diamond. Let's go. I want more. Ah, uh, well, that's the thing, Pip. There's no more games in this build. But I do have one last thing I can show you. Follow me. What Come do you on. Have? You know in the Five Nights at Freddy's games how they have the office and you can open and close the door? Of course. Take a look in here. It's amazing, right? Whoa, Louie. It's just like the office in the real game. Yeah, Pip. How about you look in that chest in front of you? It has a camera monitor inside of it, and you can actually look through the cameras. All right, guys, so now Pip is looking through the cameras. I can use my last slash flash scare command, and this has to scare Pip, because if it doesn't, I'm not going to win this build challenge. Let me get out of the sight of the cameras. Maybe I'll go back into the bathroom with Freddy Fazbear. And now I'm going to morph into Freddy once again. All right, and now I'm going to make Pip actually play Five Nights at Freddy's. And I'm going to try and scare him. Come on, let's just sneak through the halls. Wait, I'm on the cameras. And is that Freddy Fazbear coming down the hallway? Um, no, I don't know what you're talking about, Pip. I've not seen Freddy Fazbear in this space at all, other than in the bathroom. Wait a second, let me take a look outside. No! No! Come here, come here. Oh. He shut the door on me. All right, whatever. I'll just walk away and go to the other door. He's gonna run out of power eventually. Here I go. Hopefully I can sneak in through this door and... No, no. come here, come here, come here. No! <laughs> You're not coming in here, Freddy. You know what? That's it. That's it. I'm running all the way around. I'm running. I'm running this time. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. Come here. Oh, Come no. here. No. Oh, you're not going to stay safe for long. You have both the doors open. Oh, no. Oh, no. He opened the door on the other side. Maybe I can sneak around and then maybe I can jump him. Hi -ya! No. Hi -ya! Come here. Come here. Yeah. No. Oh, I'm going to get you. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my gosh, this is really scary. This is really scary. Guys, this is really good. Pip is actually horrified right now. And it seems like they keep trying to follow me. Ah! Oh, no! Come here, come here, come here. Let me in. Yes. No, no don't hurt me, Freddy. Please don't hurt me. I'm just a wee little dog. <laughs> Wait a second. Why do you sound like Louie? Um, oh no, guys. I think Pip's on to me. Maybe I should just confess. All right, Pip, listen up. I'm really sorry about this, but I was actually Freddy Fazbear the whole time. Look, it's me. Why would you do that to me, Louie? I was so scared. Anyways, Pip, I was Freddy Fazbear, but um, whose base do you think was best? I really think mine, you know. Well, Louie, I really don't want to say it, but your face is much better than mine. Yes! Come
Come on, guys. I can't believe I won. I knew using slash slash scare was a good idea. Slash slash scare? Um... Wait, you cheated? Uh, no. Okay. Bye, Pip. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. I'm out of here. But if you guys enjoyed that video, make sure to like, subscribe, and watch the next video on your screen. Bye, bye.